What's up, Domsters? I got an enormous Red Bull. Ready to go. Got my brother in the back. Man, he's about to tear it up, aren't you? Yup. Yup. That's what he says. He's like, yup. Alright, take it over, Ty. I was just watching an older stream good time. I'm glad you guys go back and watch those older streams. But yeah, we're gonna start the stream off. I'm gonna I'm at sort of the end of uh Serious Sam 2 here. Been trying to this game is long. <laughs> I think it's a little bit too long if you want my honest opinion. It's like five or six different worlds. I'm on the last world, and I think there's one one more world after this. I just had a Chinese food odyssey here. I went and got some Chinese food. I told them not to make it spicy, and then they made it spicy as fuck. So apparently no spice means ghost peppers dumped all over it, because I couldn't even fucking smell it without my stomach hurting. So I was like, no, nah. then I had to bring it back. Then I then it ended up being gross anyways. I didn't even even eating it. I think I'm kind of like sick of Chinese food, dude. Agreed, Marvin. Totally agree, bro. FPS games should be no longer than six, seven hours, eight max. But uh, I like this game. Um, this is definitely, I would say, my third favorite in the series. I like I like Serious Sam 4 the best, then I, then probably the first game, and then this one. Jeez, man, these enemies just fucking come out of nowhere though. This double barrel shoddy is one of my favorites in any game, dude. I love this double barrel shoddy. I'm in an El this is like Elvis land, dude. This game is just an acid trip. I just don't know how anybody can like hate this game, dude. It's it's really awesome. And there's so much imagination and time and effort that they put into this. Compared to Serious Sam 3, dude, like, Serious Sam 3 is literally just Serious Sam 1 again, but, like, worse in every way. With reloading added to it and a bunch of shit. And the level design in 3 is just garbage. I think I hate 3. I still catch myself playing it, though. This game looks nice, dude. I love the fucking giant planet in the background. That's dope. Nobody likes this game, dude. They would rather just be in the desert running backwards and strafing in every single fucking Serious Sam game for some goddamn reason. Because every time they try to do anything new or interesting, they don't like it. That people don't like four either. I like four. I think four is awesome. Oh, right, right, fucking in between the propellers. Oh, dude, I'm fucking way better shot than I thought it would be. Man, I got nothing going on with health here, though. Not good, dude. What? <sighs> boring. This part is boring. Right, I'm gonna F6 it. F6. My main problem with the series is that you like you never really fight mental, and it just seems like it's just never gonna happen. They keep now they keep making prequels. So they, oh come on, dude, kiss my ass. I feel like it's harder to not get hit in this game though. Sometimes you're just getting fucking hammered and you don't even know how or why. And you just die very suddenly. See, I have 134 health, dude, but, like, it'll just disappear in, like, a second. Jesus Christ! 
All right, with the boss. Thank God. This stupid boss, is this it? Come on, dude, this is gonna take all fucking day. I wish it would get stuck and then I could just like blast it and kill it and be done with it. Dude, this is like just a horrible boss, dude. All the bosses in this game are terrible. Hold on, there's like these harpoon things. God, you gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Yeah, thanks for your help, Matrissa. Ooh, that brought down a pretty good amount. Gotcha, bitch! Done for. The boss was annoying. Alright, I think I'm gonna get out of this game. There's a physical version of this coming out that I'm gonna get, so I'm kinda holding off on buying it. This is such a... It's just so weird that they're putting time into remaking these Saga games, dude. Like, I just didn't think they were that popular. Especially over here in America. Like, I, I've never talked to anybody that played these. Painkiller Black Edition. Man, this game brings me back. I might try this real quick. Game Spy Arcade Installation? What is this? Do I need to install this? I don't need to install this, right? I'm not installing Game Spy Arcade, dude. What is that? Game Spy. Give me a break, dude. Does this even have that resolution? Okay. I think it just froze. Ah, PC gaming, dude. I just love it so much. It's so fun. Is he going to do this Game Spy installation thing every time? Come on. All right. Wow, this brings me back. Playing this on my fucking... Pentium 4... Laptop, dude. Right after I graduated. What's going on with this head bobbing? Who, who wants to head bob that much? Nobody! Please tell me I can turn that off. Head bob, zero. Uh, I always like the way the guns feel in this, dude. Dude, whoever's idea it was to put a penny and four in a laptop back in the day needs to be shot. I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't even turn the fucking thing on without it overheating, dude. Even thinking about getting on my fucking PC would overheat. I started my YouTube page and made all my biggest videos back in the day with that Pentium 4 laptop, though. You guys want to see it? <laughs> Here, hold on. Let me... Alright, you guys ready for this? I can't get it to work. I think I took the RAM out of it. But if you guys... I, I could, like, sell this as a piece of, like natural hit like history and dedicated to put it into a museum or something it's like 47 pounds here hold on all right you guys ready this is what i used to bring you guys action 52 my gamestop rant all the early videos all the stuff with roach everything <laughs> uh, right here bitches Right here. Look at this thick boy, dude. Look at the thick boy. 
Look at this. Hold on. Holy crap, dude. Look at that. Toshiba satellite, dude. <laughs> Isn't this crazy? It doesn't work. I have the charger. It's got a ATI graphics card and a Pentium 4, Windows XP. One thing that I will say is that this keyboard is amazing. I mean, this feels like a fucking goddamn mechanical keyboard. It's still in good condition. I can't get it to work, though. I think I may have taken the RAM out of it and put it in something else. That's probably why. But I couldn't get it working anyways. I even took the battery out of it. I mean, it just overheated just by looking at it. It's... Yeah, I can barely hold it with one hand. That's how heavy it is. Yup, that's my old Toshiba. I'll always keep it. I'll never get rid of it. Because this is, this is why I'm here right now. Without this, I would not be here. So, it's a lot of nostalgia with that big boy right there. I found it the other day. About about made me cry, dude. Just looking at it, it really brought me back to some some good old days. When I worked at Staples, we used to sell these like little teeny mini laptops, like these little teeny mini Vios. You guys probably remember them. They're like the itty bitty ones, eBooks or whatever they called them. And they had Vista on them, dude. And it was just like I would sell people these things, and they barely worked, dude. Like even on the show floor. They were so slow, and I had like a certain amount that my boss wanted me to sell, but nobody wanted to buy these things, dude. They're, everybody's like, can I just put XP on them? I'm like, you're going to have to do that yourself, dude. But nobody would want to buy them because they were just so slow and horrible, dude. Like Windows Vista was just not set up for anything under like 4 gigs of RAM, and that was a lot back then. Uh, feels a lot better to shoot stuff in this than it does in Serious Sam 2. Dude, I love this mechanical keyboard, dude. Yeah, people can say what they want to say about Razer quality of their products, but I really, really like these, these green switches. These green switches are sex. I've tried, I've tried uh, Cherry MX Blues also, but... I think I like these green switches the best. I've tried the Cherry MX Browns, and I don't really like them. Am I the only one that thinks Cherry MX Browns don't even feel like they have any kind of tactileness to them at all? Like, Cherry MX Browns are supposed to have a tactile bump in them, aren't they? But I don't feel anything. Any Ch Cherry MX Brown keyboard I ever use, it just feels like a MX Red. I can hardly ever tell the difference. There's just maybe a little bit more resistance. But I love cl clicky keyboards, dude. Alright, guys. I will be back. I'm going to go help my brother with something. But uh, give, me, give me about an hour or so. I'll be back. Back at it again with the Strizim. Play a little bit more of this painkiller. I don't want to install GameSpy. What the fuck is what is GameSpy? What is this, dude? We install Windows 95 while I'm at it. What the fuck, dude? Let's download some songs off LimeWire too. What do you think? <laughs> My brother's back there playing Descenders while I'm rocking this. Dude, this ran so bad on that on that laptop. I remember I bought that laptop back in the day. My, my parents got it. Got me this. Got me the old Toshiba laptop brick. And this thing could barely run this, dude. At like, literally like 1024 resolution, dude. Like it was... This the first game I tried and I was like really disappointed by the performance of the... The gaming aspect of it. And this was like a three thousand dollar laptop back in the day, dude. Laptops were mad expensive back then. So I really appreciate my parents getting that for me for sure. Oh, freezing them. That's dope. Uh, uh, forgot about that. What's 
painkiller on PS3? I completely forgot about that. My brother's a really big PS3 fan, aren't you? No. That was your favorite console? No. So you didn't like it at all? My brother has never got into PS3, dude. Even back then, he's just like, it's jank. Games don't run right. I hate it. Yeah, while I'm over there playing around with the Ring of Death on my 17th Xbox. Yeah, I know. People think I'm lying about how many Xbox 360s we had, dude. We had the worst luck with them, didn't we? Silly, dude. This is definitely more fun than Serious Sam 2. <laughs> Yeah, I love this PC, dude. I don't know if there's like a vagina add-on I can buy and just fuck this motherfucker, dude. I don't know about that. You think there's a is there a card I can add on? It's just a vagina. Yeah, it's made by Logitech. Logitech, and it's probably junk then no, if it's actually, Logitech. I think it's made by Mad Cats. Oh, dude, did you just drop the Mad Cats yeah. bomb? You're about to get everybody up in my chat going fucking crazy about Mad Cats, dude. Mad Cats. It's crazy bad. Mad gay. Mad Cats. That shit was broken before you even opened it. Pretty bad that I would have like a a, a a controller where half the buttons didn't work on it, like a first party controller, where half the buttons didn't work on it, and it barely worked. You had to like bend the kick cord at a certain angle, and the stars had to align in, in perfect fucking harmony in order for the controller to work. And I would still rather use that than the man Bad Cats fucking controller, dude. Mad Cats or Hori? Oh, I would take Hori all day over Mad Cats, dude. No doubt in my mind, son. I would say no to both and get a controller that's decent. Yeah, we're not we're not 15 years old anymore. Don't ask me. I don't got time for. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna spend the extra 20 bucks and get something that works. You always go to somebody's house, and every time you'd go over, they'd give you the fucking Mad Cats controller, and then you'd stop being friends with them immediately. Oh yeah, and then your friend would beat you. Oh man, I beat your ass. I was like, you have a controller that works. Yeah, that's because I'm playing with the trackball controller from the Atari 5200. <laughs> like you fucking handed me a fucking potato with a fucking USB cord sticking out of it. Like, yeah, this is why I don't come over, friend. It's Mad Cats with a Z too, man, because it's so cool. And they got time. Mad Cats ain't got time for S's. There was a PS2 controller. That was Mad Cats. That was like really good in concept. I bought it when I when a uh, Gradius Five came out. And it looked like a Super Nintendo controller with like sticks on it. Worked for one week, dude, and then that was it. Sticks broke on it. With N64 controllers, dude. Every time you get a third party N64 controller, they were always like way too thick, and you could like barely hold them. They were always like just way too fucking big. You could never get one that like just felt good in the hands. Like anything is an improvement over the N64 controller, anyways. But they still couldn't do it. Still couldn't pull it off. Dude, if you're gonna sit there and say N64 controller is a good controller, I'm not everybody that, is gonna I'm not kill you in this chat. It's not that bad. It is bad. It's horrendous. Have you tried to use it lately? The fucking joystick on it is a piece of hard, sharp plastic. With no cushion or anything. I just can't believe how bad it was. Yeah, but... Depend the PSP, that fucking... Oh, thing, I would never wipe. use the stick, though. It wasn't even a stick. It was a flat disc that you moved around on it. N64 barely holds up for sure, dude. Oh, shit. It doesn't. This is N64 fanboy over here, guys. N64 is a great system. I don't. I wouldn't go so far as to say great, dude. Well, I, I would say it's got a handful of bona fide classics on it. Absolute awesome games, but they've been remade, and the remade versions are better. And I would argue there's no reason to go back to N64. Story, man, I, I loved that system when I was a kid, like to death. PS1, dude. N64 was just rough. And those games were fucking expensive as shit, too, back then, dude. Like, I, I give it to Papa for buying those games for us, because they were expensive, dude. They are like $70.
I mean, you don't even realize that. How much was Star Fox 64 when it was came like out? It was like $80, dude. Came with the Rumble Pack? Yeah. And all that. It was like, uh, that's 1998 money, my friend. And third party support was almost non existent. And yeah, it but didn't even have a Metroid. So what? No Metroid. He he was the N64 guy. I was the PS1 guy. Yeah, because I had him. Mario 64. Dude, you, you had Zelda Ocarina of Time. Like, that was the best game that you ever played at the time. Dude, but Zelda Ocarina of Time. Like, yeah, it's really good. But, I, like, literally, I could hold every N64 game I had in, like, my hand. When we had it at launch, I had. Mortal Kombat Trilogy, and you had Mario 64, which you stole out from under me because you're a prick. Yeah, that's right. Okay? You had all these fucking other tens, though. Okay? I can have Mario's fucking 64. I had every Mario game up until that point, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he's getting Mario 64. I'm like, how is this happening? How is this transpiring? Because fucking, I was sick of being stuck with fucking, uh, Punky Skunk. Hey, Punky Skunk is, is legit, dude. Punky skunk. That's a classic. It's more like gay. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what that game was all about. We played it like one time. Cause it, cause I beat it that one time. Thanks, Ashley. N64 library doesn't hold up. The same 20 games that people talk about, even though people had five games because they were too expensive. Yeah. I don't care, man. Gizmo. N64, in my opinion, have games that yeah, hold I mean, up, but it's the controller that blast. That kills I had it. With just playing Mario Party. Dreamcast two, has the same Mario problem. Mario mom, like. That was the only games I ever really got to play with mom. Dude, you know, um... Me, the Smash Brothers, fucking Mario 60, all the Banjo, Banjo-Kazooie, fucking goddamn Conquer, motherfucking Mario Kart 64, goddamn Goman. I would say that the Dreamcast controller actually... I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get out of this. the fucking cord comes out of the fucking, like... Doesn't it come that out like That was weird, the, like, yeah. Weird, it came out of the, the bottom. bottom or something? But then it routed shit. to the top. Well, I'm gonna. We're, we're talking game systems. I didn't have a problem with the Dreamcast controller. I'll take the Dreamcast controller every single day over the N64 controller. You're, I'm, you've never been more wrong. Dude, the, the N64, laid out. The N64 laid out. controller causes physical injury to your fucking hands, dude. There are people that still have crippled ass hands off that fucking controller. Yeah, the Dreamcast controller, uh, but there's no games to play on the Dreamcast. Dreamcast had some good good games. No, it was out but for it's, what, but, like, like 16 months or something? Am I, you know... Dreamcast is one of those cult systems that everybody would just hold, puts on this pedestal, but it's just, it doesn't. A lot of the games are just like... Am I going to go back and play Blue Stinger? Yeah, they fucking changed thing? Dreamcast to Catnap, because that's fucking how quickly it fucking went, came and went. Yeah, I went to the bathroom and took a really big Taco Bell dump and came out, and the Dreamcast was dead. I was like, what happened, dude? We were getting on the bus. Me and Ty were getting on the bus, and my dad came out, and it's like, "Did you guys hear the Dreamcast was dead?" I was like, "Shut up, Dad." I was like, "Shut up, Dad. You're ridiculous." And it was legit. Dude. Kids, kids that day at school were talking about it. Like they're they're canceling the Dreamcast. I was like, it "Just came out last week." What the fuck, dude? It was so hard for us to get a console, and then we had we begged our dad for that. We got it the previous Christmas, and now we were just like we had to figure out some way. We could manipulate our parents to get us a PS2. Oh, I think God, we were no. we were faking, like, you know, like, well, Dad, come on. Come on, Dad. Dad. Come on, Dad. I think I have cancer. I might not live. I might not live another year or so. You would have to give me this. Yeah, well, then his, 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 his answer would be like, well, if you're only living for another year, you don't need a dream Yeah, you don't need, what are you going to do? do? <laughs> Use that money for your cancer treatment that we would spend on that, on the console. Thanks, Jawbreaker. N64 had decent support from Hudson and Konami. That's pretty much it. Well, I guess Mischief Makers. Mischief Makers. We did have Mischief Makers. Makers. And Goman's Great Adventure and Mystical Ninja Star and Goman fuck was fucking good Goman. game. I'll give a god good goddamn. Goman can go fuck himself, dude. Oh, I don't know why these games uh, didn't take off over here in America. That's called Goman's Great Adventure, dude. Dude, that was an awesome side scroller. You yeah, have three, like, that, like 3D robot battles, like it doesn't matter. Like I'd yeah, beat anyone's so ass well. if their name was Goman. Who the like, fuck's Goman? Yeah, it dude? did so well, man. But that, those games were fun. I'm sure they were, dude, because he's hitting stuff with a giant crack pipe. And it, dude, it's fucking insane. And playing co-op like a side scroller on Goman's Great Adventure, that game was a fucking goddamn blasty blast. <laughs> there was nothing that great about that adventure. It was. It was Goman, and it was great. Goman's... And it was adventurous. 
Goman's mediocre, mediocre track. Sucked. Because <laughs> we would, we would, I would, I would take most of the good games. Taller he over here, he'd get the, you know, anything else that I missed out on, and then Brandon our little brother Glover. Brandon would get Glover. Got them gloves. And uh, this tiny teens beanstalk we game like, literally, I would, like, that he beat long. before he even got out of the, the car and went on. The credits are rolling. I didn't even open my game yet. That was sad. That was sad. Yeah, we would like go in and pretend like his games were halfway decent, uh, and then we would we would walk out and be like, "Dude, he bought that. He bought that with money." Dude, Ty, come here and check forty winks out. We walk out and like forty winks, more like forty dicks. <laughs> All in a row. Dreamcast had Power Stone too. The better Smash Brothers. Oh, I don't know about All that. Right. Calm down, yeah. Gizmo. Yeah. All right, did you take your meds, bro? You might want to double dose it, dude. Like two, t take two ibuprofen every four to six yeah, hours. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Jawbreaker Goman is based on legendary Japanese thief Goman Ishikawa. Oh well, I didn't know that. I guess it's a really good game now because it's based on it Goman Ishikawa, dude. And the SNES and SNES four Goman games, I remember them. And the, 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 the uh, Super Nintendo Goman's good too. I was too busy playing Chrono Trigger, but you have fun with that Goman though. Yeah. I'll be over here. Big boys are over here playing Crown Trigger. What was that one game you got that was just you didn't even you didn't even act like it was good. There was a few times that like cause he would get a bad game, but then you know like we didn't get games very often. So even if the game was absolute dog shit, he'd be like, "It's good, man. It's a good game. What are you talking about?" But there was a couple that he couldn't even defend. What nothing is know. nothing's as bad as Rascal. Oh God, that was it, Rascal, dude. We had, like, I'm telling you, one time we were, we, my dad brought us, he's like, okay, you guys can pick out a game, and I made a, that was the day I got, I made my mistake too, so you got Rascal, and you got, and I got Pitfall, Pitfall 3D, over Resident Evil 2, dude, I don't even deserve to live on this earth for making decisions that bad, dude, how, how I'm even able to even well, be sitting here right now, I had Resident Evil 2, the, the Bruce Campbell in it, though. dude, I had Resident Evil 2 in this hand, and Pitfall 3D, and for some reason I had trouble choosing which one. Not only did I have trouble choosing, but I chose Pitfall 3D. Yeah, it's just because you know. Because I wanted to have sex with Bruce Campbell at the time, dude. I was all about him, anything he was in. That's, that's like, it was ridiculous. Man, fucked up. Dude, I remember I was playing it, I was like, what did I do, dude? I had the, I had the noose around my neck, dude. I was, I was on the chair, I was like, I fucked up bad, dude. I fucked up bad. It's going to be another 15 years before we can buy a game. It always seemed that way. I remember, I remember manipulating mom. I was like talking to her, like in one of the baseball games. I was like, "Mom, I was like, you, you got to help me out. Like, I got to bring this game back. It's not good." I was like, "I need Resident Evil 2. She's like, "Yo, you'll get a game soon enough." I was like, "No, I won't, mom. You know this." Oh my god! You'll be hating on Mystical Ninja. Exactly. Well, you and Jawbreaker can make a Myst Mystical Ninja fucking. YouTube page is centered around those games, dude. Yeah, so we have three subscribers. Yeah, dude. You guys can dress up like mystical ninjas and fuck each other's butts. Meanwhile, I'm gonna play a good game. I don't, I don't have time for that. I don't wanna fuck anybody's butt. I'm good. <laughs> My camera's trying to focus in on you playing Descenders in the background. I want an SSX Tricky Remaster. Dude, but they would have to relicense all the songs. That one song. Yeah, but they're you know that that's that's the hard thing and why a lot of those games don't get re-released because the soundtracks are hard to get the rights back to. I want I want a fucking uh, NBA Street. I want an NBA Street Volume Four. What happened to NBA Street? I don't know. I never played them. Those games were fucking the goddamn tits McGee. We have our own language, guys. Everybody in the chat has no idea what Tits McGee means. They can, they can, they can figure it out. First of all, tits. That's all I gotta know. Tits are good, but what does McGee have to do with it? What's? <laughs> I've made my name Tits Tits McGee and shit like that on my whenever I like make my name in the beginning of a game. Oh, I've done that plenty. And then do Smitty Werbin Jaeger Man Jensen. I heard Balin Wonderland is horrible. Yeah, I heard it's a piece of shit on the rocks. Piece of shit, Alamode. 
Piece of shit on rye bread. Piece of shit all mode and the with with no ice in the drink. You get a drink, but there's no ice. Yeah. Warm like, drink. I was like, what is this? Yeah, you know, I went to Taco Bell the other day, and they're like, yeah. I'm like, can I get a Baja Blast? They're like, yeah, but our ice machine's not working. I was like, so you're gonna give me a warm Baja Blast? I'm not an animal, dude. Quit treating me like one. Yeah, and then I'll take a taco and just put the meat in a pie. I'll just take it that way then, you fucking pieces of shit. I would not. They'll still get the order wrong. Their fucking meats barely even qualifies as meat to begin they're, they're, with. They're ungr- it's ungraded. It's probably... It's unedible. Balin Wonderland is a toilet butter and sperm jelly sandwich. Mm. Balin Wonderland. It's maybe the guy... It just came out, dude. Maybe the guy who did the Knights games. Because that game was... Stuck. That game sucked. I would argue that Knights was never good to begin Knights, with. Knights was... And the only reason that anybody liked Knights and played it because it was on the Saturn, there's nothing to fucking play on the goddamn Saturn. Oh, let's release a, uh, this console over in America and have every single good game not come out there. That's the Saturn. Absolutely bizarre, dude. That looks terrible, dude. Guy's a one trick pony, dude. It looks like knights! What fucking retard this guy is, dude. The title, it just says Knights in the Dreams with a line through it. Balin. <laughs> Balin written on top of it. Unreal. This guy's making the same game for fucking 40 years. Alright, guys, I'm gonna be right back. I gotta take a huge, massive dump.